Hello my lovely YouTube friends, it's great to see you again. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to create a Canva presentation from scratch and use your own branding. Now there's a really quick and easy way to do this so I'll be sharing that with you and then we'll be moving on to the really exciting Canva features. How to use all the Canva elements within your presentation so that includes how to use Canva stickers, the three ways that you can use video snippets within a presentation, how to add music to your presentation, and even how to add little GIF files. We've got quite a bit to cover, so let's get started. To create your own unique branded presentation, click on a blank template to bring it up onto your desktop. Before I start, I just want to recommend that if you're going to be creating quite a few presentations for your brand to market your brand or corporate presentations, it's well worth considering upgrading to Canva Pro simply because you have access to the Canva brand kit. And this is where you can upload your brand colors. You have a folder to keep your logos. You can also upload your brand fonts. So having access to the Canva brand kit is going to save you a lot of time and effort in the future. If you have upgraded to Canva Pro, let me just show you where you can find the logo folder. Scroll down the sidebar and you'll find it there. To upload your logo from a local folder, just click on the upload an image button at the top. Now you can go ahead and click on them to bring them up onto any of your presentations. Now organize all your other brand assets in your own folder. Scroll down the sidebar again until you come to the tab that says folders. Click on it once and then go to the top and click on create new. You can name your folder here and click on create folder. You can now upload any of your brand assets to this folder so that they're all in one place. To note for Canva free account holders, you have access to one folder and one subfolder. So it's really worth thinking about how you're going to use these so that you make the most of what you have. This is probably another reason to upgrade to Canva Pro if you're going to be using more than one folder. You can see from my folder that I have subfolders, designs, and my photos from a brand photo shoot. To create a subfolder, click on the three dots at the top and click on create new folder inside brand photos and assets. Go ahead and name your subfolder. If you don't have access to Canva Pro's brand kit, you can create a subfolder, save your logos there. To upload any files to a folder, just click on Select Files. Now that you have all your brand assets in one place, it's so easy to create branded presentations. To add text overlays, scroll up the sidebar until you find the text tab. Now select one of your brand fonts. This is another benefit of having access to Canva Pro's brand kit. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little text to my slide. Now this is where the fun starts. I'm going to show you how to create a really memorable presentation in Canva using all the various elements. So let me start off by showing you how to add the elements to your presentation. Scroll over to the sidebar and find the elements tab. 
click on it and you'll find all the Canva elements in subcategories like grids, shapes, frames, stickers, charts, gradients and so on. So I'm going to add another gradient just like this to my slide. So click on gradients and select the one that you want. It really is incredibly easy. To save you a bunch of time, if you want to keep the look of your slide exactly the same throughout your presentation, just click on this little tiny button that says Copy Page. And now I'm going to show you how to upload stickers to your presentation. Go back to the Elements tab on the left and click on it, and you'll find stickers just above the Gradient section. And you'll find various categories such as arrow stickers, word stickers, food stickers, shape stickers, da da da. We've still got some Christmas stickers here, and so on and so forth. And I can tell you there are so, so many stickers that you can choose from, some of which I haven't even discovered yet, I'm sure. Um, to save you a load of time, it's best to use the search tool to find exactly what you're looking for. So to search for a particular sticker, click in the search bar and narrow down your search by adding a plus sign, or you can, you can even write plus. And let's say I'm gonna search on all the arrows. Hit return, and Canva will bring up all the arrow stickers that are available. I'm happy to say that all the stickers are free to use, so you don't need to use the filter tool. Now select the arrow sticker that you want. And that's all there is to adding stickers to your presentation. Now I'm gonna show you how to add music to a Canva presentation. And this is a very, very exciting and fairly recent feature that Canva has added. Go to the sidebar again and select the music tab. You can see that there are various categories of music such as travel, piano, music for YouTube, happy music, instrumental music, and so on. You can have a listen to any music tracks before uploading them to your presentation by clicking on this central arrow here. When you've found the track that you're looking for, just click to select it, hold it down with your cursor and drag it into your presentation. And I think you can probably see on this presentation here, it says drop to add your music and you can only use one track per design. So you have to take the time to find a track that really suits your entire presentation and not just that slide. And you can see here that the soundtrack has been added to your presentation. Click on it once. And you can see the audio bar right at the top here. And from the audio bar, I can see that this track lasts for 2.07 seconds. I can adjust the volume using the slider bar here. Or if I decide I don't want it anymore, I can just click on the delete icon. And that is all there is to adding Canva music to a presentation. Now this is an exciting thing. I'm gonna show you how to upload video files into a Canva presentation. There are three different options you have to upload video. Number one, you can upload video directly from YouTube. Go across to your sidebar and scroll down. Scroll right down until you find the More tab with three little dots above it. You want to click on that and then you want to go to the apps and integrations section where you'll find the button to integrate your YouTube channel. You'll find that Canva gives you a set of preloaded YouTube videos, but 
my guess is that you'll probably want to link up your own. So here's what you do. Head over to your YouTube channel, select the video that you want to share, click on the share button and then copy the link. Go back to Canva and in the search box, paste that link that you've just copied from YouTube. Hit return and here's your video. All you need to do now to upload it to a slide is select it and drag it into position. You probably want to resize it slightly. And there is your video within a slide. To play the video, just double click until the YouTube icon turns red and then click it once more. And that is all there is to it. The second way you can upload a video to a Canva presentation is to head over to the sidebar again, scroll up until you find the videos tab. Click on it once and you'll see a good selection of videos that you can choose from. Use the filter tool to find free and pro videos. Again, once you've selected the video that you want to use, just drag and drop it into place. Then click on it to play. If you want to reposition the video, double click it and you can move it from side to side or up and down. Instead of using a stock video, I would really suggest that you upload your own quick videos. Head over to the sidebar again and go to Uploads. You can upload an image or a video using this tab. You'll find all your video files under the Video tab here. I really do suggest that you limit these videos to just a few seconds and that you use a tool such as Handbrake to compress the video files because otherwise they're going to take an age to upload. Let me just show you what I mean. Here's a little video from a holiday I took last October. I'm going to drag it into the frame. And there it is. And that's it, that is how to upload videos to a Canva presentation. And since we're on the subject of video files, let me show you very quickly how to embed a GIF file into a presentation. Go over to your sidebar, scroll right down to that little tab that says more and the three dots, click on that. Go to the apps and integrations where you will find the GIF, Giphy tab. Click on it and there you will find all your GIF files. And again, you can search for what you're looking for to narrow down the options. So let me search for coffee and to insert a GIF file into my slide, I'm just going to drag and drop it. And there you go, there is your GIF file. I think you'll agree that using all these fantastic features is going to make a presentation so much more memorable than anybody else. Catch up with me next time when I'm going to be teaching you how to use the presentation tools within Canva, how to export a Canva presentation to PowerPoint and Google Slides, how to add clickable links to your presentation, and Canva's brand new presentation feature. I'm not going to tell you now what it's about, so make sure you catch up with me next time. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. I will see you next time. Bye.